it's Jessie V. I am so excited. I have a huge announcement for you guys. I have just released my Valentine's Day mystery boxes. So you guys probably remember in December I had my Christmas mystery boxes and those flew off the shelves, let me tell you. We only had a limited quantity and so many people were upset that they couldn't get one. So we decided to bring them back for Valentine's Day. They still are limited edition, so when they go, they go, but guys, they're so cool. So everything is obviously Valentine's Day theme, so like hearts, red, pink, sparkles, magical. Everything that symbolizes me is basically in this box. We only have one size box this time, so everybody gets the same amount of items. So this is an example of what you can get in your box. So there's pizza heart socks, like, are you kidding me? There's a mystical unicorn corn dust pendant. There's a V-Team Valentine's Day pop socket. There's a V-Team Valentine's Day bracelet. So everything you get is Valentine's Day themed. So everybody gets the same items and the mystery is which color you're gonna get and which different pattern you're gonna get. So everyone is still gonna have a slightly different box. So they're up on the website right now. I have no idea how long they're gonna last. The link is down below in the description, but I'm so excited about it and I know you guys will love it. That's also why I'm wearing a pink shirt today. I wanted to like match the Valentine's Day theme. But anyways guys, let's get into the video. So today we're gonna be talking about some games creepy pastas and I really wanted to make a whole series on different game glitches and game scary stories and haunted games especially like nostalgic games that even I used to play as a kid so if you like that idea for a potential new series definitely give this video a thumbs up so I know but today we're gonna start off with talking about the Wii and specifically Mies. Now, the Wii came out back in 2006, so I was in grade six, I was pretty young, and it was so popular, like, everybody had a Wii. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of history, and then we're gonna jump right in to the creepypasta. The console was initially released on November 19th, 2006. It quickly became the leading console in the US, Europe, and Japan. With over 100 million units shipped worldwide, it is Nintendo's best-selling home console. I remember I used to play on the Wii 24-7. It was also like the favorite thing to do at a sleepover party. And then we had our Miis. Miis are based off of human beings, and players can design what their Miis look like and use them in compatible games. So basically, you can design your Mii to look exactly like you if you wanted to. So let's get into the first creepypasta called we deleted you. So it's basically about this guy who got a Wii for his seventh birthday. He set it up, plugged it in, was so excited to play it, and when he went onto the main screen, he saw there was that me section. Was it called the me channel? When he clicked on the channel, he saw one single me walking around, and his name was Etaled. Now this name didn't make much sense. It was a strange name. He didn't create it. Why would someone name their me Etaled? But then he looked very closely at the letters and when you put them backwards it spells out deleted. This character was very strange looking. He was bald, he had a big smiling mouth, he had giant eyes and a small nose. <laughs> Voldemort. <laughs> so this obviously freaked him out and he instantly deleted this me named Edeled. He decided to instead make the me version of himself, which would have been way less scary. So he created his character, was so excited to start playing and the second he saved his character and exited out, the only thing that was on the Mii channel was still Edeled, just staring back in that Mii plaza with that same creepy look. So once again, he deleted Edeled. He tried his best to forget it and he logged on to Wii Sports. His me was at the bowling alley. The me hit a strike and turned around to celebrate. And instead of seeing the me that he created, he saw the face, once again, of Edeled. So he exited Wii Sports, went back to the me channel, determined to permanently delete 
Edeled. But when he got there, a dialogue box popped up that said, why are you trying to delete me? Then Edeled's face changed. He had the same creepy smile and features, but his eyes were replaced with gaping holes and his whole face turned red. He once again freaked out, turned off his Wii, ran to his dad and told him what was happening. His dad just basically said, you're just spending too much time on that Wii, little boy. Because parents think when we're afraid it's because of too much time on technology. And since that day, every time he turned on his Wii and logged into the Me channel, a dialogue box appeared that said, We deleted you, and took him back to the Wii menu. So somehow the Wii deleted him in a way that he was never able to create his own Me again, and from that day forward, he was forced to play constantly with Edeled in whatever game he played on the Wii. And yeah, that's the story. <laughs> it's actually pretty creepy. And it's funny because this creepypasta has been around for a while, and since people have heard of this, they literally try to make their Mii's look like Adeled, which is cool, but also I don't know if I would do that. Now, before we move on, I briefly wanted to talk about a glitch that I experienced on the Wii when I was younger. This was probably the first year that my sister and I actually got the Wii. We literally had all of our Mii's created to look like each one of our family members and friends. So we had like mom me, dad me, cousin me, best friend me, uncle me, every kind of me in our family looked like our family members. We probably had about 14 of them walking around in the Mii Plaza. And one day I had like a bunch of friends over for a sleepover and we all wanted to play on the Wii obviously, but when we logged in there was this super weird glitch where all of our Mii's were headless. And it was weird because they were headless for only a couple seconds and then their head would come back and then it would like flash off again. It was like this glitchy head on all of the characters. And we thought that glitch would go away as soon as we started to play a game, but it didn't. Our Mii's were headless playing Wii Sports. I really wish I had taken a picture of it back then, but I guess I wouldn't have known that 15 years later I'd be making YouTube videos. So the next and last game I want to talk about is Roller Coaster Tycoon. Now I know this game is super old as well. I'm pretty sure it came out in like 2000 or 1999, so some of you guys weren't even born yet. But for me at least, it was a super addicting game. People still talk about it all over the internet today. Do they still make Roller Coaster Tycoons? I don't know. All I know is that I used to play the oldest one. Roller Coaster Tycoon came out in 1999. It's a series of simulation video games about building and managing an amusement park. The game allows players to construct and customize their own unique roller coasters and other thrill rides. So you literally got to make your own theme park. You can make your own Disney World, your own Wonderland. You basically have all the control, which I loved. And it's weird because I hate rides, but I loved making them and watching other people go on them, as weird as that is. So let's get into this very odd creepypasta. Someone made a very strange and creepy ride in the Roller Coaster Tycoon game. It was one of those very, very slow rides, which isn't abnormal. I mean, a lot of kids' rides are very slow, but this person made the track. 30,696 feet long. Do you guys realize how long this ride would be? So in the game, it basically had a ride time of 70 minutes. So you had to sit at your computer and wait 70 minutes for the ride to be over. But what's creepier is that it actually took four years in game time. So even though it's shorter for us in real life, years go by in the game and these people are on this ride for four years of their life. This game was named Mr. Bones Wild Ride. This ride was decorated in skulls. There were props of skeletons holding out top hats scattered around here and there as if to mock the customers. And what's so creepy is that there were so many people on the ride screaming, I want to get off Mr. Bones' Wild Ride. So you're probably wondering what happened when the four years were over and people were able to get off this ride. Well, when the ride came to a stop, all of the passengers got off. They were finally so relieved they were off this four year long ride. They then found themselves on a very long exit path to get back to the park. This path took them about two hours to travel on. All it did was go right back around to the entrance of Mr. Bones' wild ride. There was nowhere else to go, so in other words, they were stuck on this ride forever, constantly going in a loop. And I know this all just takes place in a game and these people aren't real, but it's 
really messed up if you think about it still. But that just shows you all the different crazy things you can do in this roller coaster tycoon game. You can just make people ride the ride over and over and over again. I would never want to be stuck in that video game. Anyways though guys, those are the two games I wanted to talk about today. If I missed any really cool creepy pastas or glitches or creepy things, definitely comment them down below and let me know which games you want me to cover next. And don't forget the Valentine's Day boxes are down below in the description, limited time only. And I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!